Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to Premier League Prediction. You don't know this yet because of I ain't told you. I am after a thousand subs come the end of the season. So um you know share my videos. Um you know let's see if we can get this channel up to a thousand subs come May. Um as I said, share my videos, let's see if we can do it together. Um, it would be a big thank you from me, and there will be a special video at the end. Um, at the end, when I'll get to a thousand subs. So, you know, anyway. After the week of international break, the Premier League is back this weekend. Um, I certainly have missed the Premier League. Um, I think the lower um, League 1 and 2 really did well why the Premier League and Championship were on the international break. But the Premier League is back. And there was a few things that happened in the last Premier League games. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but, you know, I've got to talk about England and Bulgaria. Um, you know, what's happened over there? There's no need for it. Um, there's no need for uh, racism in football or anywhere in the world. Um, you know, uh, with all that in mind, please, please, no racism in football or anywhere in the world. Um, I don't like it. I've got a few family that are um, different colour skinned. But even that, I don't like racism in football or anywhere. So please keep that in mind when you go and support your team. I know it can be a bit hard when you get carried away with the atmosphere. And I know, you know, it can be started by someone else. But please do not do it. Um, it's a thing I'd like to see stand down in the future and UEFA. Um, have done the right protocol. I know England is in a bit of trouble as well over that. Um, but you know, let's do our best to keep this, to keep it clean. Go out, enjoy the game, cheer your team. But yeah, just don't do it. Um, anyway, time to get down to my predictions for this week. So guys, anyway, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'll kick off with is um, Everton versus West Ham. Lunch type kickoff, Everton are in the bottom three as it stands. Um, you know, and Pitford and Michael King got called up for the England squad. Completely wrong in my situation. Um, I like to know why Jack Greenish did get called up. But obviously, Gareth Southgate ain't quite seen what I'm seeing in him and what some of you might be seeing in him, but I'll get on to that with the Villa game. Um, but West Ham, you know, ain't doing too badly either. Everton losing 1 0 away to Burnley. Um, West Ham losing 2 1 at home to Crystal Palace. VAR played its role again in that West Ham game. Um, Jordan Ayun's goal. Um, I did. I did see it, um, the highlights. Um, I can roughly see, um, you know, why people got the odd problem with it. But let's be let's be clear about VAR. It's not a hundred percent definite. The FA, the Premier League, everyone has said that. We have not got the technology yet to make it 100% uh, definite whether it's onside or offside. And um, what I see of it, I think it's just onside. Um, but let, let's also not forget that there was a statement, um, apparently, and I've got to use the word apparently, um, Markin Atkinson said Pepe should have had a penalty. In Arsenal's last uh, result, um, but he didn't want to overturn Andre Mona. 
Now, if the referees ain't going to do that, I can't see the point in having VAR. But if they do their jobs correctly and, you know, reverse decisions and they look at the screen and they do that, I think VAR will work perfectly within the Premier League. Um, this is where, on social media, I stick up for VAR quite a bit because VAR is just a bit of technology. Even though it's the video assistant referee, until we can find a bit of technology for the, uh, from VAR, to, for the VAR to talk to the ref, I'm still putting on the match officials to do their job, clearly. Um, but I've talked about enough about this fixture, so for this result, I'll go for a 2-1 West Ham win. My next one is Aston Villa versus uh, Brighton. Um, Brighton of Albion. Um, now, let's talk. Obviously, Brighton won 3 now against Tottenham. Um, Villa beat Norwich 5 1. Um, but let's forget this result for a couple of seconds. Just what I would say is Hugo Lloris. I hope you get better soon. Um, if you follow me on my social media, all my social media links are down below. You would have seen me put something about Hugo Lloris, get, get well soon or something like that. Um, there's a horrible injury. Um, dislocated his elbow. I'm, even though he's out for the rest of this year, I'm probably, if we don't, it's going to be hard to when to see him again. So he's got, got to get back into training and then for the first team and all that. So it's going to be interesting to see when he does come back. Back to the results, 3-0 um, Brighton, let's talk about this one first from a Brighton perspective. Great three points for Brighton. Tottenham did not turn up. Um, Harry Kane, I think, only had the one shot in the whole 90. Um, on the other end, so as I said, let's go talk about the Brighton side of it. Great day for Alan Connolly and Neil Mopé. Um, great day for Brighton all round. Um, obviously, a lot of confidence going into this game. Uh, and on the verge of that, let's go talk about that Villa result. 5-1 against Norwich City. 5-1 away from home. Great result for Villa. <laughs> you know, let's not beat around the bush. Great result. Um, you are speaking on a team that beat Man City at I think, I think I was beating my own. Um, but let's not forget, they do still have to go do their job. I'd like to see Jack Greenish in the England squad for the next uh, international, which I think is about four weeks away. I know it's not long. Um, but on this result, I'll go for a 2-1 Brighton win. I'm just expecting Filler to come back down to where I feel a little bit after that great result, but Brian had a great result as well. Um, my next one is AFC Bournemouth versus Norwich City. Just literally mentioned Norwich loses 5-1 at home to Aston Villa. Bournemouth losing 1-0 away to Arsenal. Um, disappointing day for Bournemouth. Um, But, you know, um, Arsenal to get that 1-0 win against Bournemouth, uh, you know, it probably was a bit off the cuff, if you know what I'm on, on about. It's, you know, a bit surprised. I think I put Bournemouth down to get a point in that prediction. Obviously, it's nigh on two weeks ago, so. Um, but... Norwich, disappointing home day. Um, let's not, you know, beat around the bush with this one. To see five goals against a newly promoted side. Um, both teams are newly promoted. Um, only way that Norwich got a goal is by, I think it's Tyrone Mings or one of the Villa defenders uh, made a mistake. They managed to pounce one back. But disappointing day for both clubs. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3-1 Bournemouth win. 
My next one is Chelsea versus Newcastle. Chelsea beating Southampton away from home for one. Newcastle beat Man United 1-0 at home. Uh, what game should I start with? Let's go talk about that Newcastle result first. And let's speak about it on a Newcastle perspective. But when I get down to that Man United fixture, that's when it's going to get interesting. Um, great day for Newcastle. Great goal by... I think it's Shane, uh, Sean Lindelof. Um, sorry if I mispronounced your name. Um, but, you know, great day for you, Castle. Bit off the cuff um, as far as Man United are concerned. But you, Castle, still got the three points. And I think probably deserved them as well. Um, Chelsea, on the other hand, this week is a big step for Chelsea's season. I'll tell you why after I speak about this result. 4 1 winners away to Southampton. Now, I think it was a Super Sunday game. Um, great, great result for Chelsea. Um, two wins on the bounce. Going into this weekend, making it three. Um, Mason Mount had his England uh, cap, or two England caps. Tommy Abraham came on, another Chelsea player. Let's just say Chelsea's future looks bright. Um, but this is such a big week for Chelsea to see if they can make it free on the bounce. And I'm going to stick up for Chelsea to do that. And I'm going to go for a 2 0 Chelsea win. My next one is Leicester versus Burnley. Burnley beating Everton at home 1 0. Leicester losing to Liverpool away from, uh, yeah, away from home 2 1. Um, let's not beat around the bush with that Leicester. I think Liverpool were very lucky to get the three points again uh, two weeks ago. Uh, or not on two weeks ago. Um, but Burnley, great result. Thoroughly deserved it, I personally do think. I don't think Everton's quite in this season yet. I don't know how long that's going to take. Um, how long is it going to take for the Everton uh, manager, Bells, to start ringing He's under a lot of pressure going into this weekend. Um, as I said, Leicester on the other hand, you know, I thought deserve a point out of that Liverpool game. That's just my opinion. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one, and this is a game I would like to be at, at the stadium and watch in person, is Tottenham versus Watford. Tottenham losing... Oh, Away to Brighton, 3-0. Um, Watford, 0-0 at home to newly promoted Sheffield United. Now, I've already spoken about um, Tottenham. But I'll speak about that again in a minute on a Tottenham perspective. Um, Watford picked up a point at home. Could be good for confidence. Other, other, anything else? No, not really. Um, in my opinion. Um, Tottenham. What were you thinking? I mean, I watched the highlights. I do on a Saturday. I see Tottenham players walking around the pitch. You're professional football players. You know, how many players do you see getting paid thousands of pounds a week just for walking around on the pitch? Give me your money, I'll do your job. Um, but a disappointing day for Tottenham. Looking to bounce back this weekend against Watford. Both teams going into this game low in confidence. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Tottenham win. My next one is Wolverhampton Wanderers versus Southampton. Southampton losing 4-1 at home to Chelsea. Wolverhampton Wanderers beat Man City 2-0 away from home. Great result for Wolverhampton Wanderers. But there's still a big but there. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Disappointing day for Southampton. Um, I really am struggling to see where Southampton are going to end this season. 
mind you, so am I for um, Everton and teams alike. Um, but Wolverhampton, great day at the office. I think that's very much off the cuff. Um, no disrespect to Wolverhampton. Um, Southampton, on the other hand, did have a big um, disappointment there at home. But for as I, you know, concerned still, I think both teams are going to be very low in confidence still, even though Wolverhampton had that great result against Man City. And I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Manchester City. Manchester City loses 2 0 at home to Wolves, just as we mentioned that. Um, Crystal Palace beating West Ham 2 1 away from home. Great three points for Palace. Uh, five, um, I think that, you know, very confidently. As I said, VAR did get involved with the second uh, iron goal. I know you're going to debate me and, you know, you're entitled to your opinions. But that sort of tight call is why I like VAR. That's, yeah, it, obviously it's going to take time for people to get used to VAR. And that's why I say to, you know, if you're a regular viewer of mine about watching the MLS. Because you, because they've had it, I think they're the first ever league to bring it in. Um, I think it's like four or five years it's been over there. Um, and you get to see how I use it. And that's the way I think the Premier League is going to go. Um, any other way I can't see it really working but what gets me with VAR is it works in the rest of Europe why, why can't it work in the Premier League um, but great three points for Palace offside onside as I said similar VAR images I th think that Jordan Onyu was just onside disappointing day for Man City tra uh, trading Liverpool by 8 points in the league at this stage but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Manchester City win. My next one, and it's the game I'll be looking forward to when I wake up on Sunday morning, it is Man United versus Liverpool. Man United losing 1 0 away to Newcastle, Liverpool beating Leicester 2 1 at home. Let's talk about that Man United result. Um, and I'm going to actually sort of lay in to Man United just a little bit. Uh, all that money. You're playing Rashford in the centre. Daniel, uh, Daniel James is doing a great job, uh, in my opinion. The only player that really does it like he wants to work in the United shirt. Uh, I think they were wrong to let Lukaku go. I think they were wrong to let Sanchez go. I think Man United could be a little bit of bother this season um, if they aren't already. Let's not, you know, pretend that they're high up because I think they're in 12th, 13th, somewhere down there. Um, I think they're two points off the relegation zone as it stands. I know how teams and you're going to probably laugh at this and you're welcome to but I'd be very surprised if Man United just end up above the relegation zone come this season they have got no permanent striker if you saw Marcus Rashford in the England-Bulgaria game um, he played out on the left I think it was and he was a great player you're playing down the centre he can't do nothing um, Paul Pogba, you know, all that money, to be honest, I like to see where United are going up this season. It's got to be an interesting one. Liverpool, on the other hand, 2-1 winners over Leicester at home. As I said, I think Liverpool were very lucky to come away with the three points. Eight-point gap between the top two already. Um... You know, is it going to increase? Are, you know, Crystal Palace going to somehow do a result over Man City? Let's not forget this game is on a Sunday as well. 
So Man City already played their game. So we're going to roughly know that um, how many points Man City have got, uh, you know, gap of Liverpool, whether they've closed it, whether it could be more open on the Sunday, but this is a game I will be looking forward to on Sunday. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it to the red side of Mercy side. I've got, I don't know, I don't know, you know, another way to call this. And I'm going to go for a 3-0 Liverpool win. My last one for this weekend is Sheffield United versus Arsenal. Arsenal beating Bournemouth 1-0 at home. Bournemouth, uh, Sheffield United, sorry. Um, drawing to Watford away from home 0-0. Great point for Sheffield United. Newly promoted Sheffield United. Um, I think that, uh, Watford had more possession in that game. But, but uh, Arsenal's result very much off the cuff. I do believe, if I remember rightly, and this is, if I remember rightly, I think Bourne should have got one back, but didn't. Um, but, you know, going into this game, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Sheffield United win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.